Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Shea Bella. This is Shea Bella here. And today, what I'll be doing is I'm going to be taking out my three week old Fox Locks. I haven't had them in for that long, but I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of looking at the style. I really don't do nothing to it, I just put it like in an instant and i just go and i wanted to do more styles with this but i just got tired of it so it's gonna come out tonight you know so that's what i'll be doing i'll just be taking this out and i'll either do a get to know me part two because i did a little bit of part one in my introduction video and i'll just be talking to you about school just different things throughout this video because I don't want it to be like just quiet and boring and just y'all watching me take out my fox fox like no I have to have a conversation with you guys I can't do that to you I can't I can't you know so without further ado let's get right into the video I was fighting some demons in the field bitch I'm deep in I was raising a deep in I know niggas be sinking take your bitch and go deep in but I give it back while you tweaking Okay, let's just get started. Um, if you do hear any background noise, I am so sorry. It's my roommate. She's watching TV, but whatever. Anyways, so let's just talk about school. Well, actually, first, I did tell, I'm going to just repeat my name. My name is Shaquia Williams. I am 18 years old. And I'm a sophomore in college. I'm not going to name the college. But I consider myself a senior because I'm graduating in May. This upcoming May was coming up. Like I said. Um, and I'm just excited to graduate. I was trying to get a hang of things in my classes. Because I have six classes this, this semester. Last semester I had five. Now I have six because this is my last semester and I'm trying to get out of here early. I'm not trying to stay for another year. I have, to, I have stuff to do. I have the time. I have stuff to do. So I have six classes and I can name them all for you guys. So the first class I have computer programming concepts and then I have rhetoric. Then I have ethical hacking with my favorite teacher of all time and so that's three at least and then I have database management uh, critical thinking and career development and I really do like <clears throat> I was hesitant hesitant to start like six classes and I was scared I was like ah what if um I get I fall off a track and get behind or whatever but honestly I was worried for nothing because it's just easy like <laughs> like of course like some of the, the stuff was gonna be hard harder than some which is fine but right now like I'm doing good my campus life I have two jobs I have I'm working in the IT department in my school and they love me they really do they really love me so I ain't even like worried I do get paid a good amount I'm not gonna say the amount but I do get paid like a good amount and then I'm on call for the library job and I'm not so my IT job I'm doing work study and my library job I'm actually I'm actually an employee for them like an actual employee so I'm like on call so like if somebody can't make it in that day they would call me and be like oh do you think you could come and fill in for them and we pay you here and I'll just be like yeah because like I don't have a life like I do not do anything so I can go in and cover for the person so that's the good thing about that yeah right so my grades so far is like really good like all i've been getting is a's so far hopefully it stays that way sorry for the background noise i'm sorry um 
I recently joined the softball team. That's, that's something that I can tell y'all about. So, I recently joined the softball team. And I am the co-captain. I don't know how. Well, I know how, but I don't know how I got that position. Because he asked. Let me tell you. So, he asked. He was like, oh, who wants to be the captain? And, like, at first I was like, oh, me, whatever. But I didn't say it. I was just thinking it. I was like, ah. Maybe I should be the captain, but then it's like I was just thinking. I was like, ah, I don't know. That's too much responsibility, bro. Like, I, I don't think, I don't think I could do that. So, a, a girl actually like raised her hand. She was like, oh me, I want to be the captain. So she got the captain position, and he asked like, oh, who wants to be co-captain? So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just say I want to be co-captain and just call it um, George. Call it a day. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this build up. Like, it was time. It was about that time, to be honest. But, yeah, I just, I was like, yeah, I just want to be co captain. Because being a captain is really, I don't know. I just don't know how to feel about it. That's too, that's just, to me, that's just a lot of work. Because you have to, like, deal with everybody, deal with everything. The coach is going to be telling y'all what to put in a group chat and y'all have to be typing like, no, I don't want that. Like, no, but it's, I'm, I'm happy I'm co-captain because like I help, I help people out a lot. Like, and I'm very understanding. So if somebody don't want to come in and practice, I'll be like, okay, that's fine. Just make sure you come, you come next time. But some people be pushing my buttons, bro. Like some people be really missing out practice. Like, the season just started and like a couple people like never came to practice and it's like what what's the point of having practice if nobody comes to practice you know and we did we, we already started playing games and stuff and we are actually playing against another because our team is co-ed boys and girls so we're playing at um we're playing against other teams that's co-ed and their teams you see you see how small i am their teams are, um, consist of big i'm not saying like they're fat like they're just like huge like they're like they're adults like you could tell they're adults like i'm a, i'm i'm 18 but you could you could just look at me and be like oh yeah she's a child you know what i'm saying like they're actual adults and they're big as hell i just, i remember the first game that I went to, and I saw this big man just walking down with his baseball bat. I'm like, yo, is that who we playing? Because if so, <laughs> come me out, bitch. Because I really wasn't having it. I'm like, yo, why is this dude so big? And it's not even, like, being fat. Like, it's just, like, how he's built. Like, I was like, yo, can we not? Can we leave? <laughs> can we, like, can we go home? So, we didn't win. We didn't win a game yet. Yet, I'm gonna say yet, I'm gonna have faith in my team. We ain't win yet, but I think, I think we have a good chance of winning. So, last semester, like the, the first time I came to college, I wasn't interested in making friends. I wasn't interested in like looking for friends. Like, I wasn't, I did not care. I came in, I was in a relationship when I first came here. And you know how. You know how that goes. It's like you you're in a relationship. You think that you don't have to talk to anybody just because you have that one person. No. No. When when you get to college, just try to like I'm not saying be overly friendly, but just be friendly. Like if somebody come up to you, just don't be like no. Like don't do that. Like just talk to them, have a conversation. If they like you. If they start to like you like in that way and you do and you are in a relationship then just be like yo look i'm not interested but we could be friends just do that because it's not good to isolate yourself from people because you never know like you could make some really like good freaking friendships in college and you like you would not know especially when you're coming into a college in a relationship you just figure that okay well i'm gonna just talk to this person if they come and visit i'll that'll be my friend if um if i talk to them every day on the phone i'll be fine no you need like an actual person to like actually be with throughout the day i'm not saying every day because i get tired of people 
fast like my personality don't really match a lot of people so if i do like enjoy um hanging around you you should be lucky because i really don't like people like that so <clears throat> yeah when you come to college just like just be mindful and just be open-minded um on the fact that you might make a friend and it's not it's not it's not as bad as people like i mean you're gonna you gotta you're gonna meet a, a lot of bad people and it's your it's your choice in whether you want to converse with them and you want to have a relationship with them or you just want to leave them alone and it's okay if you want to leave them alone because you're not it's you it's your option it's your choice you know what i'm saying so yeah but i i'm just mad because the first semester i really wasn't like i really wasn't asso associating with like nobody uh i was just like with my boyfriend at the time and i really wasn't talking to anybody like that um and then i was living with my roommate my first ever roommate and she used to go out to parties and stuff and i never i never used to go she used to invite me and i'm just like no nah, i'm good whatever like i really was like a buzz killer like a party pooper because like i really did not want to do anything and then like my second semester i started like getting out there i got my i got a friend who's currently my roommate now uh and she was the first person to actually like, ever talk to me because she saw me in the lunchroom and she just came up she decided she said god put her there um to talk to me so we was cool for a minute a hot minute and then i decided to become a roommate like this is the thing with me i can be y'all friend and i can be cool y'all but i cannot live with people like i have to live by myself tell me tell me if that if that's how you are like you have like you could have friends you could be cool with them but you can't live with them like you have to live by yourself because you like your stuff a certain way or you get annoyed easily like let me know please let me know if that's how you are and that's how you set up because i'd be feeling so bad because it's like i don't want people to think like oh like i'm snobby or like i don't know like, i just don't want people to feel that way but like let me know please please in the comments let me know if you're like that but anyway so like she was my friend <clears throat> and i was like okay yeah i'll live with you whatever but after a couple of weeks not even months after a couple of weeks that like, i just got i just got tired of her and her bs like i really did i'm not gonna tell y'all what exactly she did because i do not want to put anybody's business out there but i just i just got tired and i went to the school and i asked them multiple times can i switch roommates or can i leave and all they would say is no 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 and i'm just like yo so you would rather have me deck somebody in the face than think about your student safety like you would rather let me literally because i was on the verge of like fighting her like we did fight at a point in time and you would really like take a risk like that instead of like switching me to like another person another building you would just leave me there with her in a room like that's the thing that's the thing i don't like about my school like they're just so they're like money and if i ain't giving them money if i ain't showing them the money if they think that i don't have money to afford my my single room they're not gonna switch me they're not they're not and that's the thing why i don't like about this school because i am a financial aid i really am and they cater to people who are more likely to that they could actually see the money like like if a, if a person's parents come and they they talking about their child and oh give her a single room whatever and they and you look like money they're gonna be like, okay okay i got you but now look, looking at me i'm black they they already know i'm on financial aid they're just gonna watch and then my mom asks them like oh can my daughter be can my daughter have a single room no no we can't cater to everybody we can't cater to everyone because if we give her a single room then everybody needs a single room no no it's not like that that's why i don't really like my my school like this like i'm ready to leave because i had so much problems with this girl and no one moved me up to now and it's just crazy because it's like not suppose i was really like if i was really going to pop off like not suppose i was really like that person that like actually pop off 
they, they could not save her. I am that person, but like I'm trying to change. So, not suppose I was leaning on my bullshit still. Like imagine, like she would really get decked in her face. Like I have friends now, and I made more friends recently. And it's just, it pissed me off now because it's like, I only started to like be outgoing and stuff now that I'm like leaving. Like it's annoying. It's really annoying because I could have been their friend from since last year. But nope, I was in my corner just with the, that one friend I had and she painted a picture about everybody in this school saying that how they're like bad or whatever. So I just tried to stay away from that. But you know, you can't listen to people. You have to, you have to check out people for yourself. And that's a lesson learned. Because if I was to check out people for myself, I would have the friends I have now and we would be going on adventures and all types of stuff. I would have had the time of my life in this school if I was to just don't listen to that one person feeding me all that negative information about other people which was not true at all so that's a lesson learned on my part because they're really like they're really good people i'm not gonna lie me and the girl really did have like good times but she's just her personality and my personality don't match and simply because we're living to living with each other every day like we're gonna see each other like is not like I get tired of people fast my vibe don't match people's vibes every day so I'm not gonna lie sometimes I do get tired of her and I need a break from her but she's very needy she's very needy and she wants things done like this and I'm just like yo I'm not your parent I'm your friend I ain't even your freaking maid so don't <laughs> don't snap at me because you want stuff done the way you want stuff done if you want stuff done the way you want it then you do it yourself that's how i feel if you want stuff done the way how you want it then why don't you, you go and do it yourself you know that's all that's all i'm saying bro and the same thing with my other roommate because i have two roommates and the one who i'm actually sharing a room with she's cool like i don't have a problem with that one i really don't the only thing is she watches me, like her eyes, her eyes are so big, so it's like, she looks like an owl, like if I go this way, like her eyes follow, that's the only thing I have a problem with, but like she's really cool, I don't have no problem with her, I told her already I don't have no problem with her. I just don't like this school, because it reminds me so much of high school, because it's like everybody, like, the, this college is so small. So it's like if and if someone was to have sex with somebody, everybody would know by like the next day because of how like small this school is. Like it's ridiculously small, and everyone, even the teachers, would know the students' business. That's how small it is at this point, and it's just annoying because it's like every day is something new. Every day is something new, and I just hear about it. Like I don't even have to ask. I don't even have to ask. Somebody could just find me and be like, "Oh, yo, Shay." Did you hear about this? I'm queer. Did you hear about this? Did you see this? Um, how do you feel about this? Like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care to talk about people 24-7 every day of the freaking week. Like, I don't care. Like, do something else. And stay away from that negativity, that negative vibe I'm trying to stay away from. So if my roommate is negative, I'm not dealing with that. If my friend is negative, I'm not I'm not a friend anymore like I, i'm just i'm trying to stay away from negative people i'm just trying to be a positive person because when i was in st thomas i was a very negative person bro i really was i was like my high school middle school type years like i was negative i ain't trying to be that way i ain't trying to be like that this is anita make sure you follow my youtube channel real goddess cp Yes, man. Go check her out, bro. New shows when I get a chance. Yes. It will be coming soon. Coming soon. I'm going to put her name in the description box below. So make sure you check it out. Check it out. I cannot speak right now. Now me and my friend is going to talk about... We're just going to talk about, like, things we hate in 2019. We can definitely talk about that. Y'all yeah. these camouflage suits. Listen, I guess we're starting now. This camo, these camouflage uh, potato pants, they look like you in the, the ghetto uh, hood military. Don't wear those no more, okay? I kind of like it because I do 
have a uh, army camouflage skirt and it really is pretty so yeah you go somewhere with that i'm talking about the pants them big whoop de doo pants i would rock those pants bro the I only mean, person that i feel like looks good in that is my friend bobby only person. Okay, you talking about for boys? Then. Yes. Okay, well, boys, you need to stop wearing it because it really don't. Boys it don't, it's not attractive. Wall, yeah. Girls got the trend now, so let's just leave the girls with that. Thank you. I mean, we get everything though. We get like all the little, the little, the little stuff. Oh, we gotta take her thrift shopping. Yes, we do, because never I been. never crazy. I never went. And I'm gonna make that into a vlog, bro. That's one of the vlogs I will be doing, so stay in tune for that. I'll be on my channel too. Yes. Okay. This is my friend Jeremiah. Say hi. Hi. He's just gonna be joining us. He's gonna talk to us a little bit, and then Pretty he'll cool. and then he'll get up, get the hell out of my video. You know? Yeah. So. Tell them about your college experience. My college experience is um, smoking, 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 reading, homework, eating. Uh, but I do have a question though. Okay, what? Uh, the question is, shit, I think I forgot my question. Oh yeah, if you can have any superpower, what would you have? Um. I would have the power to turn invisible. Why? Cause sometimes I don't want people seeing me, so I just I would just turn invisible. So you so. so look I would be a jumper. You know a jumper? No. You never seen the movie Jumper? Oh my gosh, hold on, let me show you real quick. I'm almost done guys. I have I don't know how many this is, it's just a handful left. I had to rush through this video because I don't want to be up all night taking out my hair. Honestly, I really didn't. So I'm almost done. I made sure to record the last one. <clears throat> oh, I'm so glad I'm finished. I really did enjoy doing this hairstyle and um, I really did like how it came out. It's just that I was just getting tired of it. And it was only, it's only been three weeks, but hmm, it's time to go. I'm finally done. Um, my hair really did grow and within the three weeks, it really did grow. Like, I'm not even kidding. Uh, I'm not gonna comb out these. I'm gonna just do that off camera because I really do not have the time. Um, I hope you guys enjoy watching me take out my fox locks, and I hope I just hope you guys enjoyed it. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and please press the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And Yes, thanks for watching this. With the game, we ain't playing fair. Matter of fact, we don't play at all. OG was in the air, but we better run.